Hi everyone, uh, dear children. Uh, today our lesson is grade 10, uh, third lesson, coding system. Actually, we need to know what is uh, coding system. Uh, coding system used to uh, represent characters in computer system. Uh, the characters are the numbers, letters, and the symbols of computer used. So, to represent each of these characters, there is a number. Uh, this number represents in binary uh, format. So, this is what the coding system. So, here we have to consider how many coding systems and uh, what are those. So, the first coding system is BCD. Uh, I have already written here binary coded decimal. BCD means binary coded decimal. Uh, it is actually formed from uh, this decimal number system decimal number system is from 0 up to 9 so these are the binary uh, values of these, these uh, decimal numbers so to represent uh, the number 9 we need these four uh, binary numbers so when we uh, look at here we can understand that there are four digits in BCD in, uh, coding system four digits from those four digits we can represent 16 uh, characters so you have to remember that in BCD coding system there are four bits to represent a uh, number actually this coding system is very old coding system which was using earlier calculators uh, we know when we consider the evaluation of computers uh, the computer started from uh, when we go to the history it was a uh, abacus uh, that is a counting device and so on it came uh, uh, after that uh, calculator so on so uh, in calculators these numbers used only these numbers to represent each of these numbers these are the binary values that use so 16 characters they are uh, so our question is this <coughs> now let's say 64 decimal number what is the uh, BCD value of this 64 so very easily we can uh, recognize this 6 this is 6 and uh, 4 so we can write it like this 0 1 0 0 and 0 1 1 0 uh, yes uh, when when we compare here 8 8 bits 4 bits 4 bits yes and we can write here BCD <coughs> this is how we have to answer this question so without this uh, table also we can answer this question then we can use that uh, uh, hexadecimal method here we can use 6 and 4 uh, 1 2 4 8 1 2 4 8 4 to represent 4 we need only 4 we need not these 2 uh, here 6 yes the same value here so we can uh, you can use any method but I think it is better not to use this table without table we can do this so here uh, here is 4 and here is 6 uh, when you answer this question you have to remember uh, here the uh, when we do the number system we don't use this zero here but in coding system we have to use that that you have to remember that uh, actually this is the answer you you must answer this is the way 10 and here 0 1 1 0 0 1 0 0 B C D this is how you have to answer uh, <coughs> So and the other thing, you should not divide this 64 uh, because uh, I have asked you when uh, in number system only the decimal number we divide by 2 and get the reminders but here we don't do that because this is not the number system, this is coding system. In coding system this is not 64, this is actually 6 and 4. So we have to get the uh, each of these numbers uh, binary values so you have to remember that in BCD value then we go to ASCII coding system so I will give you 
after this lesson uh, there's some questions from these all these coding systems so just you need to understand what is this coding system this is very easy uh, each of these number decimal number you have to write the binary that's all so the next coding system is ASCII ASCII coding system actually uh, represent 7 bits ASCII coding system represent 7 bits uh, American stand code for information interchange this is, that is uh, uh, ASCII so this coding system we need 7 bits from those 7 bits we can represent 120 8 characters that mean uh, 2 to the power 7 earlier in BC decode 2 to the power 4 means 16 bits so here uh, 16 characters uh, here 128 characters from 7 bits uh, so this is the question in ASCII uh, in your uh, in your book there is appendix for this uh, coding system uh, <coughs> If I say that uh, it is in page number 102, so I get one example here. Uh, so you have to use this uh, your textbook even. Uh, in textbook, uh, this is the question. If the letter A, if the letter A, if the letter A represent the decimal value 65, uh, what is the what is the uh, binary value for the English letter uh, A B C D E? Yes, this is the this this is the question that type of this ASCII. If the letter A represent the uh, decimal value sixty five, what is the what is the binary value for the letter E so here they have given us 65 as decimal uh, their question is binary value for this letter E so actually this is not difficult so I think you might think that you have to remember all this no because they always give us a one number from that number we have to get the other so here we can write 65 66 67 it is ordered 67 68 69 yes so here is the binary value for this number actually you have to divide and get the binary values but I can remember so I write it here uh, 7 bits uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 yes this is the binary value for the uh, number 65 so I have told you some method uh, counting of these binary values easy way uh, only take the uh, uh, 0 and 1 and form the number after 1 we can write 10 as 1 0 no then 10 11 then 100 then 101 Yes, this is the number for this uh, 69E. And also you could get this uh, by dividing this. Uh, actually, that is also uh, okay, but here it is far more better. Because sometimes you may get uh, wrong numbers in some coding systems. If I say like this, uh, so here, here is the question. So this is the answer for this question. Uh, 1 0 0 1 0 1 is the answer for this question uh, uh, the, when we uh, get the letter E so here is another one uh, I will get this uh, here in your textbook there is a decimal number and hexadecimal number and octal number uh, ok I will get this number uh, uh, if the letter if the letter H if the letter H represent if the letter H represent 
hexadecimal value 68 H 68 68 yes this is actual correct uh, number uh, so you can get this number by typing open in your word document you can type uh, you hold in the alt key and 065 then there is the letter A without using the key A we can write that so that is the coding system to prove that uh, use the coding system that is the best way you can check in your computer hold the alt key and 066 then there is the letter B so you can check this so here H is a uh, simple H uh, represent 68 this is hexadecimal value 16 this is hexa value our question is if the letter H represent hexadecimal value 68 what is the H I J K L what is the <coughs> binary value for the letter L so here we I can write here 68 6 8 and get the binary value like this 1 2 4 8 1 2 4 8 8 mean 1 0 0 0 6 mean 1 1 0 uh, here is a uh, 0 but we need not this one because for the ASCII coding system there is only 7 uh, bits so I can write it like this and I write it here 1 1 0 1 0 0 0 this is the uh, binary code for the letter H but our question is a binary code for the letter L uh, I'll write it here using uh, 68 uh, and I'll write it here uh, H here I I'll write it here 68 I K, K, L, yes. I use this binary code here like this. 1, 1, 0. Then here, 1000, 1001. After 1000, 1001. 1, 1, 0, 1010. 1, 1, 0, 1011. 1, 1, 0, 1100. Yes, so this is the binary code for the letter L. Now already we have answered the question. But if you write here and get the value, you may get make mistake. I know that. 68, this is hexadecimal value. 68 after 68, 69. Uh, so you, uh, without uh, pay much attention for the number system definitely you will write here so after 69 70 and 71 and 72 so if and you will get the uh, number if you get here you can uh, quickly write the numbers and you might make like this 7 and 2 so 1 2 4 8 1 2 4 8 but here you see 7 to form 7 I need all these three now look at here look at these two numbers this is this is the wrong place because you are counting here is wrong not the 70 after 69 6 a because this is hexadecimal value then here 6 B here 6 C so we have to get the binary value of this 6 C that is why I told you it is better to get this uh, from the binary anyway if you can if you can remember and if you pay much attention on <coughs> number system you you don't uh, go wrong so here now we can get the 6 and C 1 2 4 8 1 2 4 8 C mean what is C uh, A for 10 B for 11 C for uh, 12 12 C for 12 how to form uh, 12 8 and 4 that is 12 so we need not these 6 to form 6 I need only these two so look at here these two numbers are correct so remember that in the same way if there is a octal number also 
uh, same method here after octal here I write as uh, 7 6 you might write as uh, 77 uh, 77 78 uh, by uh, my mistake you may write, write like this because there are no 8 and 9 numbers in octal value so after 77 you get 80 so, uh, so, so sorry 80 not 80 after 77 you will get 100 100 zero, zero. after 77 you will get the value uh, 77 is the last value as 99 in decimal number this is the octal number then we get 100 zero, zero. after that 101 one. like that it goes up to 17 then again uh, so yes this is how it goes okay I think it is clear so remember that uh, when we do the coding system pay much attention on uh, octal number and hexadecimal number then we have the next number system uh, EBCDIC uh, coding system not the number system sorry coding system next coding system is EBCDIC uh, extended binary coded informator interchange co uh, inf information code uh, so in BCD coding system uh, there are uh, 8 bits from those 8 bits we can represent it 256 characters only that you have to remember in BCD coding system uh, there are 8 bits uh, from those 8 bits we can represent uh, 256 characters so now you have to remember this uh, amount of bit and the characters in BCD coding system 4 bits uh, and the 16 characters in ASCII coding system uh, 7 bits and uh, 128 characters and EBCDIC coding system 8 bits and uh, 256 characters the last coding system is the Unicode uh, in this Unicode actually because of this Unicode uh, <coughs> the computer can represent the letters in other languages just like uh, if we take as example Sinhala uh, because of this Unicode we can write in Sinhala and uh, express our ideas in Sinhala using the uh, internet and so on right so these characters are uh, for the letter A there is a code to represent this the letter I under then there is a uh, there is a 16 bits number actually I, I can remember here it, it is uh, so uh, if we, we if we need to know these codes we have to go to the internet and check it so this is how the Unicode Unicode is we uh, when we work in Unicode we have to install that Unicode if it is a uh, uh, Windows 10 operating system of course it is there and we can get used in the language option uh, so this is what you have to remember in coding system in coding system no other questions only questions from BCD and the ASCII in BCD coding system you have to convert uh, decimal value into BCD and in uh, ASCII coding system there is a letter give us and ask the uh, binary value of the other letters some letters uh, it is go uh, order so it is easy to find then we have uh, EBCDIC coding system there you have to remember only the number of bits and the characters that coding system can be represented in uh, Unicode also you have to remember the uh, number of bits uh, 16 and the characters that can be represented from those 16 bits yes from 16 bits uh, characters is 65,536 characters can be represented used in this coding system so because of Unicode all over the world languages could be represented in uh, computer uh, so next we have uh, the capacity how to measure the capacity of a storing device uh, 
to uh, measure the capacity we use uh, bits and bytes so actually bit is 0 or 1 is called as a bit so uh, collection of 8 bits like this 0 1 1 0 1 0 1 like this 8 bits is called as byte uh, so uh, this is the smallest uh, amount that we use bit so this is 8 bits equal 1 byte from here we have to consider how this storage capacity uh, consider like this 1024 bytes so we can use b here for byte equal 1 kb this this is equal 2 to the power 10 I will erase here uh, 8 bits 8 bits equal 1 byte so here then 1024 KB equal 1 MB that is 2 to the power uh, 20 2 to the power 20 that is actually byte this this is byte then 1024 MB equal 1 GB that is 2 to the power 30 bytes 1024 GB equal <coughs> 1 TB 2 to the power 40 bytes 1024 TB equal 1 PB that is 2 to the power 50 bytes this is how uh, you have to remember this this is the uh, measurement of the capacity of uh, storing devices so there can be like this question uh, if the uh, 1024 uh, KB that means 1024 KB can be also uh, we can say 1024 KB 1024 KB 1024 KB we can say as even 1 MB so uh, there can be question uh, the amount that can equal to 1024 is 1 MB and also at the same time we can say that uh, 2 to the power 20 2 to the power 20 uh, bytes and also 2 to the power 10 2 to the power 10 KB kilobyte 2 to the power 10 KB these are the questions there can be so uh, let's see some of the question from these uh, and the next one you have to uh, from this lesson you have to remember is this uh, this is what we have to understand here I will erase this and write a number uh, this is a number 256.1 0 so in this number what is the most significant bit and the least significant bit so uh, most significant bit m s b o d digits uh, l s b o d this is b for bit d for digit here digit let's say digit this is the uh, m s b uh, this is the LSB of this number LSB is this uh, MSB is this we don't take this zero uh, so that is you have to remember if I write here 1 0 0 1 uh, 0 uh, 0 0 like this number so if I ask the what is the most significant bit and the least significant bit of this number so the one this is uh, least significant bit this is the most significant bit if there is a question like this uh, 4 0 0 0 0 uh, what is the most significant bit 
that means MSB and what is the LSB only 4 this is the number so you have to remember uh, in this lesson is not so difficult uh, I think I will give you some questions on after this lesson uh, so go through the book and get the uh, uh, familiar with the lesson uh, read that lesson then you will move familiar with the lesson and uh, let's meet uh, from the other uh, lesson uh, very soon goodbye